In the last episode of Thrawn Fall Z, we had a general who had taken an oath to peace. Hence, they could not attack any enemies, but instead they commanded their soldiers diligently to do so. But now, in a turn of events, we have the exact opposite. Today, we take a look at a prince who has no soldiers by their side, nothing more than a bow, a dagger, and a few strategically placed fortifications of friendship. <laughs> but before we jump into this, I need not even say it. If you enjoy, like it. If you want more, subscribe. And if you want to pinpoint when in my childhood I lost my mind, then comment that down below. And here's a hint. It's somewhere in between the acorn hitting me in my head and I suddenly gaining consciousness, or up until now when I like to solve my life's problems with a tombstone pizza covered in ranch and Tabasco sauce and still thinking, yeah, I'll be fine tomorrow. I think that's enough said. Let's get into the video already. Let's go. And it looks like they're throwing us straight into the fray of the battle because it only gave us three gold and it costs exactly three gold just to build the keep. And we have no gold left over to build anything else. So we're going to get right into the battle immediately. We really do have just a bow and just a dagger. So you see that we have our bow and here's our dagger ability with a little bit of a recharge. If we manage to take out an enemy who's below half their health with the dagger ability, they end up recharging our cooldown a lot faster. Faster, as you can see there that is beautiful that is magnetic that is mm, the top of the notch type of skill over right there that oh that is beautiful but if you use it on somebody over half as you can see our cooldown is much slower but i think this is going to be the prime concept of what it is that we're going to be kind of doing here today that we only have just our bow and a dagger however it appears to be giving us just barely enough gold let's see here just barely enough gold to build one fortification a night so tonight we get access to one tower which is going to help us kind of hold back another more of these lines we have four attacking from the north four attacking from the east and we have five attacking from the south oh boy um well i mean honestly i think i'm gonna focus on the south side because that is kind of like the most travel time it allows me to kind of just focus these guys down on their lonesome wait for him to get below half there we go now this is going to be kind of a really fast paced type of challenge in general simply due to the fact of like you know hey we don't really have a lot of building time we don't have a lot of time to really discuss we are just going straight into the battles build exactly what the gold gives us and on to the next and just like that we're going to be moving on come on come on get out of here get out of here we're trying to get the extra we're trying to get the bonus objective no <laughs> we're trying to get the bonus objective of getting 4500 points for this entire run and to do that you need the best survival rate you need the most protected you need like you need good time bonus Bonuses. so you want to take out the enemies as quick as possible and you want as many of your buildings to survive as possible to try to get that best score now we only have seven gold available to us and we only have this thing to upgrade we only have to keep the upgrade so let's see what it's going to give us for an option and the only option it has given us oh wow is 75 percent health and self-healing so not only do we get more health but we also regenerate healing a little bit faster but we also deal 75 percent attack damage output for the character very nice so that's going to be helping out a lot especially with like some of these archers coming along this is probably going to be a three shot still for some of these yeah oh yeah look at it just barely a three shot but let's use our dagger ability to the best of our skill level that will allow us because these archers are a pain in the butt i tell you what they actually are kind of strong because they really group up on top of you and they can just kind of keep on laying off our arrows on top of you oh boy uh the tower's almost taken out let's see if i can see let's see if i can save the tower i'll take all the shots from the archers yeah come on come on come on <laughs> i'm already mispronouncing all my words please don't let this go to waste don't let it go to waste Ooh, my health my health Ooh, that is that is close use my ability oh my god Ooh, the heart is racing. That was super close. Not only did we protect the building, got a full 100% protection score there for 250 points, but we just barely survived. Wow, that was real close. My God. Oh, let me catch my breath here for a second. We have three gold available to us now, and we only have one thing to build, and that is another tower. So we have seven horsemen coming in from that north side. We have eight bowmen coming in from the east and eight pikemen coming in from the south. Now, the bowmen, I'm not too concerned about because I think one tower alone can take it out. Now, the pikemen, the pikemen, when they touch me as a horse, they slow you down a lot. If you get hit like one time by the pikemen, you are essentially dead. You are SOL. You are DED -E dead. You are gone. I, I don't even need to check that grammar. So I'm going to focus on the horsemen in the, in the north side. So that way, when the pikemen start to gather up on the south side, I can run on nearby. The pikemen will get distracted. Come after me. Save the tower. Everyone's going to cheer my name. I'm going to be awesome. You're all going to subscribe and like the video and comment down below of how great that move was. 
and how much of a great gamer I was. And uh, it, hey, actually, Pikeman, can you hold up a little? Hey, hey, horseman, horseman, please focus on me. Horsies. Yeah, okay. Uh, archers, uh, you're doing a lot more damage than I suspected. Okay. No, I could not save it. <laughs> I could not save it. I could not save it at all. But look at that. The spearmen are starting to follow specifically me when I get nearby them. So you can kind of just kind of train them around, move them around, just drag them around, make sure that they don't go towards your central buildings or destroy anything else. And just barely survived the night. There we go. We don't want, I mean, we did lose a tower, which is a kind of a problem, but 67% protected. Oh boy, you had 111 instead of that 250. That is quite a lot. Now we have four gold. And the only thing we have available to build is the wall for four gold. Fantastic. That is going to protect us. Now these 18 looking clubman boys, well, they're Uga Booga kind of caveman noises. They're going to go straight for the tower and kind of keep on moving through. So I want to start the night. And I kind of want to focus on the cavemen to start off with. I want to reduce their numbers as much as I possibly can. Let the tower kind of help me on those worms coming in from the north side. And maybe that tower near my wall will be strong enough to go ahead and kind of protect that gate at all. Possibly use my ability, kind of lay it off. There we go. Beautiful. Trying to take out all these cavemen, doing as much damage as I possibly can. Save the tower. God save the queen. No. <laughs> Use my ability. There we go. Come on. More, more cavemen. Take them out. Take them out. Uh, they, God, these worms deal so much damage to me. They are essentially anti-prince. They're anti-king, more or less. They deal a lot of damage to you. Use my ability on these guys. Save the wall. Save the wall. Come on. No London Bridge falling down. There we go. Yes. That is a 100% protected, right? Nothing got destroyed, I don't think. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. 250 points and a time bonus for being fast. We're already 21, nearly 2200, and we are night six out of 10. Oh boy. So we have 10 gold and we have two tower to upgrades. Okay. Well, this tower is going to be upgraded up to a sniper tower. More range, more attack damage, a lot longer attack cooldown, but it also targets the highest health units and siege weapons, which, you know, coincidentally, we're being attacked by ogres this time. We're being attacked by nine archers and one ogre on every single direction. So that sniper tower should focus down the ogre, which is have, gonna have the highest health. Ooh, okay. So it has more health, faster attack speed, faster projectile speed, and it targets the closest unit. That's not bad. So we have no gold left over. To start off with, I think I wanna focus on the ogre that's gonna be closest to the tower in its closest proximity. Just try to go ahead and just gotta do as much damage as I can to this. So that way the tower takes as least amount of damage as possible. I don't want this ogre getting anywhere near close to it. Try to maybe even lay off any like single hit on it. It's nothing of the sort. Kind of drag these guys around. Get these ogres. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get the focus on me. Beautiful. Focus me. Oh God, but the bows, the bows and arrows. Oh God. <laughs> they are doing a lot more damage than I would like. Oh dear Lord. Um, <laughs> I mean, we did manage to take out the ogres, but my God, they deal so much damage. I'm going to try to distract them the best that I can. No, run away. No, I shouldn't be getting even close to them again. Dang it. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's fine. That's fine. They're not going to destroy anything else, but they are going to get that tower for certain. My God, that is, that is something else. That is kind of difficult to try to dodge all those arrows, but that is where they're going to be stopped. I don't think they're going to get anything else here. Lay off my ability on this half health boy. Yeah, there we go. Get my cooldown. Lay off on another one. Get my cooldown. And there we go. How much gold do we have now? I think only 10. Yeah, we only have 10 and nothing to spend it on. But we do have the keep that's going to be 20 gold. And if we take a look here on the very bottom left side, it also tells us we have 15 pikemen, one battering ram and eight kind of like snake boys all attacking us. But we will be getting 18 gold, which is important. So that means that tomorrow night we're probably going to be able to, I'm assuming, probably upgrade the keep and see what kind of upgrade it gives us. So we're going to go right into another bat, right? There's nothing else around here. Right, nothing else that I can build? No, anything to sort? Okay, making sure, just making sure. Just, I, just, I, you, you gotta make sure because I don't know what else is hiding out there. Because it seems like to be a lot of units, not gonna lie, this is kind of a kind of a big army. Try to focus down these kind of snake boys the best that we can, draw their attention away, take out the pikemen. The battery ram is gonna be going straight for the tower, which is a bit of a problem. But, 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 the big but is the fact that maybe it'll be kind of the only unit going towards the tower. If I can try to draw away these other pikemen at the same time, not working out so well. Not gonna lie, lay off my ability. Oh God, my health. My health is like non-existent. Okay, draw away the pikemen again. There we go. 
Just, yeah, that's right. Come over here. Come over here. Don't go towards the tower. No, come on. You can get away. Get away. Get away from it. Nice. Come towards me. There we go. There we go. Ooh, is this actually going to survive? Lay off my ability on the battery and ram. No, I, it's not going to survive. <laughs> it is not going to survive. Maybe in a maybe in a better world, it definitely could have survived. But with my with my skills, it is not going to. So we do have 28 gold now. Let's see what it is going to be our next upgrade. We only have one to us, and it is another health and health regeneration and attack damage for us. Because honestly, what else are we going to do? These other upgrades that you are typically have to do with like your units or like income and all that stuff like that. None of that is going to apply in the scenario. We only have really just ourselves and we are getting the bunker tower. OK, so a little bit more health, a lot lower range, but its attack cooldown gets faster and faster and faster with each consecutive shot during the night. So the more enemies it actually hits, the faster it's going to attack. So it might be kind of nice to kind of just like live and forget about it and just maybe come back to it. Make sure that it doesn't like get his walls destroyed. Not entirely certain, but I kind of focus on these guys on this bottom side. Try to take out these little, I don't even know what to call these. They look like little bunnies of a sort, I suppose. Uh, I, I guess uh, just, just lay off my ability. I'll just take out these bunnies. I guess we're hunting tonight. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can drag away some of these pikemen by just getting close. Yeah, there we go. Get them around, circle around, circle around, draw them. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, just barely got out of that grouping of them. My God, that was close. Oh no, and they still take out the tower. Lay off my ability, please save the gates. There we go. Get more of it protected. That was, <laughs> that was close. I feel like if I was better at the game, I could have saved it, but that was, oh boy, that was, that was like, again, by like, that's like by the skin of my teeth. That is like by the, by the hair of how close that was. Dang, if I maybe would have rotated the other direction, I could have saved them. I could have saved them. Oh, oh, well. So we have 16 gold and it costs 20 to upgrade that. But we do have two towers now available to us. We have one here inside our keep. We'll go ahead and upgrade this one immediately. And this is going to be another sniper tower. Long range, slow attack, but high damage. Very nice. Much like a sniper. And we do have another tower, another tower down here on the south side as well. We can upgrade this and this is going to, ooh, an armor tower. Lots of health. When first damage to this tower activates a shield, protecting it for five seconds and it targets the lowest health unit and flying. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of forget about that in general. And I still want to focus on this river, like because this river is super important to try to. This is the choke point, right? A lot of these sneak boys, they're all going to be coming towards me. A lot of these roly polies, they're going past. And actually, now they look at it, none of them are going towards the tower at all. No, none of them are focused on the tower. Actually, they are all focusing directly on the wall. And that is a little bit of a problem. Um, <laughs> that is a little bit of a problem. I mean, hey, if they're not going to focus on it, I'm going to bring the, these guys around near my armored tower. Um, oh boy, that is something. I'm going to go ahead and activate my ability off on that. Okay, they have all spawned. No more. Oh god, they're all hurting the tower as they get near it. I did not realize they did that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't note to self, don't get near it. They deal a lot of damage to it. Oh my god, that did a lot. That nearly killed the tower by them just brushing by the side of the tower. That is... Save it, save it, save it, save it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was... And again, that was close. Again, again, that is close. <laughs> we have 20 gold. Maybe we have 20 gold to spend on the wall. What is our score? Oh, this is the final night, Digities. This is the final night. And I think my score up there in the very top right for a second, I saw for a glance, is 4,091. We are 409 points away from winning this thing. We are, ooh, this, this is close. This is close, and I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this. We have 40 cavalry attacking from the north. We have five ogres from across the from across the river. 60, 60 of these archers from the south side, and we have 10 flying units all the way from the southwest. That is, I don't even know what to focus on first. I think I'm gonna focus on the flying units immediately because they deal a lot of damage. They they deal a lot more than you would think. Go on by, lay off a few shots on the archers, but now let's go ahead and get the ogres occupied. Yep, just go ahead and distract them. We don't want them dealing any damage to these towers because they essentially deal siege damage more or less. It looks like the ogres are not all spawning at exactly the same time. They are a little bit separated. Um, there is an ogre that just spawned. That is okay. I will go ahead and lay off a few shots on the flying units. Go on by, distract some of their ar archer shots. Focus on the ogre. There we go. There we go. Okay, my ability is about to come back. Uh, okay, just not in time. Not in time for me to go ahead and get that cooldown off of them. Nice. There we go. Uh, this tower is taking a lot. 
they, they, they're all taking a lot i distracted the ogre a tiny bit it may not be enough i will take out the flying units there we go yeah no that tower is about to go down that is a problem we uh, got no there is the ogre as well though there are lots of archers lots and lots of archers oh my god <laughs> what do i even do about this there's so many cavalry as well um hit the ogre i guess I, I guess maybe distract their shots a little bit just every time i regenerate a little bit of health i'm just gonna try to distract a few shots of the archers at the best that i can i guess it, it's it, it's working it's taking shots away from them right it's got to be doing something we have another ogre behind us lay off my dagger ability on it um i think we are surviving this the knights the knights got taken out the tower the tower actually took out the knights oh my god okay oh we need to do the best that we can to make sure as many buildings survive uh i don't know about the walls i'm gonna take out the rest of these flying units please please focus on the flying there we go use my ability get a nice cool down get them the flying units are hitting my keep and i do not need that right now in my life uh these guys are all focusing on the wall I need to try to distract their shots. The more of the wall that survives, the more of a protection. Oh, dang it. More of a protection rate we get. I think the one of those walls are going to go down, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to lose that one right there off that, that angled one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, not in time. Not in time. That's a little bit more of a score loss. I'm disappointed. But I think we're just going to barely survive the night. Take a few more of the shots away from them. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We have got a Digitees, but did we get the 4,500 score? Did we get the 4,500? Come on, come on, what do we got? What do we got? We got a victory, that's certain, I know that. We won, we survived the night, we did a good job, but where is our score? Base score, 43 of 38, no gold bonus, mutator bonus, no restarts, new record, level 69. <laughs> Not quite. 4382 dang it no we didn't ah uh, we were just short just shy of getting the 4500 but you know what we will be doing more challenges just like this on this game we have lots of challenges available to us we just did all three there in this first region we still have three more in every other region we have gold puzzle time flies tower defense you know, I think we might deal tower defenses next time because we just did ourselves with an army. We did one without an army. Now, why don't we deal one that's more focused on the towers? You know, we have something these other bonus modes like Throne Ball, the Great Wall, the Lake Monster, a whole bunch of other slew of different modes that have been introduced to this game. So, hey, if you guys want to see more of those modes, again, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will be doing more content on this, especially for a little while now. I'm waiting for kind of a couple of new games to come out that I'm really excited about, like Capes. Capes is going to be a good one that I'm excited about. You know, Frostpunk 2 is going to be coming out. I can deal a few episodes on that. Overall, I'm excited. But for now, we are playing some Thronefall and checking out all these new mini modes. So, hey, like the video, comment down below, all that fun stuff. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I was rambling for way too long. But there's one thing that I can always promise you that I can see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.